It's Mark from CRP, and in this episode of Inside the Brands, I'm going to share a few tips on antifreeze, including why you should test it for voltage. Today I'm talking about antifreeze, specifically three tips. Now in the intro, I mentioned testing coolant for voltage. If you're asking yourself, why would I ever check my coolant for electricity? There's a good reason. You see, sometimes stray electrical charges can make their way into the cooling system, which causes electrolysis of the coolant itself. This breakdown of the fluid can lead to a premature corrosion of cooling system components. The conductivity may be a direct result of using poor antifreeze that leads to corrosion, and the corrosion particulates will increase the conductivity. If you know that the vehicle grounds are good, the coolant voltage should not be more than 0.1 volts. If it's 0.3 volts or higher, you'll definitely want to replace the coolant. Okay, here's my second tip. Sometimes people think that having higher percentage of antifreeze in your cooling system is better, which on the surface sort of makes sense. But while there are special antifreeze formulations designed to be run waterless, with most antifreeze anything above 70% concentrate, and the freezing point actually starts to rise, so 50-50 antifreeze to water is still the best ratio for coolant, designed to be used 50-50. And here's my final tip for today. It's pretty simple. Namely, there is no such thing as universal coolant anymore. That green fluid our parents used to use contained fast-acting but short-lived corrosion inhibitors and needed to be flushed and replaced every two to three years. Also, having the wrong chemistry can cause damage to your cooling system. Instead of topping off with universal coolant, always be sure to use the correct specification antifreeze for a given application. If you have a question regarding this video or any Penison antifreeze or other technical fluid, feel free to post it below or on the CRP Automotive Facebook page. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be among the first to learn about new videos like this one. Thanks for watching.